CBS 46 News presents Public Affairs on Peach. Good morning and welcome to Public Affairs on Peach. I'm Karen Greer. Summer hasn't even begun and there are likely two burning questions in your house right now. Your kids are asking, how can I get out of this house? And you're asking, what can I do to get these kids out of this house? And that's where we're coming in this morning. We're talking about camps today. And we're going to begin with Jewel Osberry and Katrina Garlow from the Youth Technology Learning Center. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks so much for joining you. You run a bunch of great camps that focus on STEM, which everybody's interested in, science, technology, engineering, math. What age groups are we talking about to get the kids out? We service all children from ages 3 to 16, all inclusive, um, with diverse needs. And that's interesting that you say that. So the kids don't have to be obviously in school if you've got the little toddlers. And some are, yes, have special needs. Yes, we, we, we service children with all um, individual diverse needs. An it, it, autistic child, uh, this is a good program because they're able to really um, utilize uh, the, the focus um, in these type of programs. It really focuses them in. Why and, did you decide to do that? Um, actually, the two of us uh, wanted to bring STEM uh, slash STEAM, um, arts included, to children everywhere. Um, and we wanted to be able to bring it particularly to children who normally wouldn't get exposed to these type of programs. So we're in the process of getting 5013C so that we'll be able to act ultimately have a STEAM center for technology and art. We want to get right into it because we've got some neat things right in front of us that I know are distracting everybody. So talk a little bit about where or what kinds of things we have and where the camps are located. Okay, we have our main center is located in Duluth on Peachtree Industrial Boulevard, 2800 Peachtree Industrial Boulevard. Uh, so that would be the main center. Um, we have uh, various camps at our school locations. Um, we offer a camp in Canton. We've had camps in Roswell. Um, and we also do uh, classes all year round. Oh, wow. So we have classes in our varied uh, schools in Roswell, Alpharetta, Johns Creek, Duluth area. Okay, Miss Katrina, you got some fun things out here as well. Let's talk about some of the Legos. I know you're Miss Lego, but some of the fun Legos and some of the things that the kids have created with the computers here. Yes, yeah, so I handle all the kids' computer science and coding classes. So we teach ages 3 to 16 how to code on the computer, so how to interact with it, how to work it, how to run it, so they can get a jump start in life on all these computer skills that they're going to have to have. Is that tough for the young ones? It can be a little bit challenging for the younger age group, but most of them had some experience with the, uh, la uh, the tablets. So when they have that experience with the tablets, they can segue right into the computers, and if not, we introduce them how to use them either way. What does coding entail, though? Coding for the younger age group all the way up to 16 has been broken down into a curriculum where they're actually given a puzzle to solve using characters that they're very familiar with. So they have different characters from movies and from comics and they actually drag and drop the different pieces of the code and they solve different puzzles to make these characters move different places. The one in front of you? The one old? in front of me is for the ages 9 to 16 suggested and what it is is that's the kids video game programming so they actually create their own characters, wow. they create their own backgrounds and stories and plots, I'm very story driven and they have to create a video game that works. And what's this one? For this one, this is for our younger age group, the 5 all the way up to 9. This is moving uh, digital animation. So the kids are actually going in and they're creating the characters, the backgrounds, but they're creating a short little digital animation with a character. All right, Miss Jewel, Lego lady, what, 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 what age groups for these Legos? And I'll turn this one on. It may be kind of noisy, but who did this one? What age? Um, this actually is for our ages 8 and up. Um, and this was built during our camp. I love it. It is our Connects uh, horse carousel. Um, that's one of my faves. And then over there to the right, you will see um, typical models for ages three and uh, to six. Those would be the type of models that uh, would be <laughs> built by that age group. This is three to six? Yes. Okay. And that one, the lady used little screwdrivers to screw in. Um, um, so they're actually learning how to mechanically uh, be enabled. Um, and then the one you see up there, the amusement park, the spinning ride, that is for our ages six and up. Um, and that's our, our standard robot, beginning level robotics model. And then over here we have our advanced high-tech robotics for ages nine and up. And then the trophies are just because we actually coach first Lego League teams. Wow. Um, so we coach that and we're open and operation all year round. 
Okay, this sounds expensive. How much do these camps cost? Uh, standard camp, it, yes, it is more expensive because you're talking about, you know, a lot of technology. Oh, yeah. Uh, so it's $60 per day generally and 300 per week. But we, for our CVS viewers, uh -oh. our CVS 46 viewers, we are offering 30% off for anyone wow. who wants to enroll. And then we do have half-day camps, um, and that's $35 per day and $175 per week. And we have extended care, and we have... Um, late early drop off and late pickup. Wow, why did you think this was so important, Katrina, to offer the kids in the summer? Um, back when we started, there weren't many of these, there weren't any of these camps around and technology wasn't as driven as it is nowadays. So we wanted to get a jump start on the curve. So we wanted to start introducing kids to skills that they could carry with them for the rest of their lives. And these yes. ladies aren't new to this. They've been doing it for 10 years. We were STEM before STEM even had a name I or like the that. emphasis that it has now. The Lego Queen, and I call her the Game Guru. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Well, we have met the Game Guru and the Lego Queen when we come back on Public Affairs on Peach. More on summer camps. We're going to tell you about one that teaches the important skills about while well, keeping the kids entertained. We'll be right back. Nice job, ladies. Perfect.